Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to change a view here in Microsoft Planner. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Microsoft Planner, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. In Microsoft Planner, you can switch between different views to organize and track your tasks in the way that works best for you. Once you're logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left-hand panel of your dashboard and click the My Plans we're in. Just click on the plan that you wanted to change the view of. In my case, I'm going to be this one right here. Now, you see, you have four options here on the top corner. The board view displays tasks in buckets right here which are like categories or stages in a, in a project. You can organize tasks into columns right here. If you want, you can drag and move along inside and you can add another back bucket, for example, this right here. Now, another way for this, uh, you can drag in different buckets here and you can use the uh, due date if you want it. For the chart view earlier, it provides a visual representation of task progress, showing how many tasks are completed in progress or not started. You can also view task by assignee right here. Completed, progress, student labels, and priority. And you can also choose the filter right here. Another option is the schedule view, wherein the schedule view shows tasks in a calendar layout with their due dates. Now, this view is very helpful for planning deadlines and seeing when tasks are due to a calendar format. All right. Now, and the next option is going to be the grid view wherein you can simply click on the title. You can put in the assignee by descending or uh, ascending. You can also put in the labels right here if you want. Adding labels here has can be fun because it's color coded, all right? And of course, you can switch between the plans right here if you wanted. So these are gonna be some options that you wanted to choose if you want to switch the... Uh... Now, obviously, switching the views right here gives you benefits. Because if you need to focus on deadlines, you might want to go for the schedule and ensure tasks are completed on time. Because on the schedule view, you have the calendar format providing a clear picture of the due dates and task timelines. Wherein on the task project like Grid, this provides a visual summary of your plan's progress, showing how many tasks are completed, in progress, or not started. And of course, when using the uh, charts, these are for uh, good for, I believe, for milestones to manage project timelines and make sure you're on track, all right? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.